In this video, I will show you how to find the constellation of Taurus. It is one of the most prominent constellations in the night sky and is best viewed during the months of December and January. Just as you can use the constellation of Orion to find Canis Major, you can also use it to find Taurus, the bull. By using the three belt stars of Orion again, they will point the way to Taurus. Draw a line from left to right through the three belt stars, continuing until you find a bright orange colored star. That star is called Aldebaran. It is the brightest star in the constellation of Taurus and one of the brightest stars in the night sky. It is a class K giant located about 65 light years away. It is currently in the process of evolving into a red giant having moved off the main sequence as it has exhausted its supply of hydrogen. It is not yet hot enough to begin fusing helium but the core of the star is increasing in temperature and the star has expanded to about 40 times the diameter of the Sun. This star is often called the bull's eye due to its seeming proximity to the Hyades star cluster which forms the head of the bull. In reality the Hyades are much further away at a distance of around 150 light years. The Hyades are the nearest open star cluster to the solar system and consist of around 400 stars. This cluster is about 600 million years old and eventually many of the stars will begin to drift away from the cluster. Another beautiful cluster located within Taurus is the well-known Pleiades. The Pleiades is an open cluster that contains over a thousand stars, but generally only the brightest seven can be seen with the naked eye. It is currently passing through a particularly dusty region of the galaxy, causing it to have the appearance of nebulosity. This cluster is often called the Seven Sisters in Greek myth, daughters of the Titan Atlas who are constantly pursued by the hunter Orion. One of the most interesting features of Taurus is the Crab Nebula, a supernova remnant with a rapidly spinning neutron star called a pulsar at its heart. This star emits bursts of radiation from gamma rays to radio waves every 33 milliseconds. It is located about 6,500 light years away and the nebula is expanding at around 1,500 kilometers per second. The supernova occurred in the year 1054 and was recorded by Chinese and Arab astronomers. It was bright enough to be seen in the daylight for 23 days and at night for 653 before fading from visibility. The progenitor star is thought to have been between 8 and 12 solar masses. There is a link in the description box to a very interesting animation of the pulsar using images obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Taurus also contains an object that was discovered to be the prototype of a newly formed star. It's called T Tauri and it's roughly a million years old, just beginning to emerge from the shell of gas and dust that had previously surrounded it. There are at least three stars that are actively accreting material but have not yet begun to fuse hydrogen. Young, pre-main sequence stars are called T-Tauri type stars due to their similarity to this one. And now you know how to find the constellation of Taurus. So the next time you go out at night, take a look up and enjoy the beauty and complexity that is Taurus.